In this tutorial, I want to talk about resistors and what you can use them for in interfacing to a microcontroller. So resistors can come in many different shapes and sizes. Um, this is an example of a wire wound power resistor. This is 9.1 ohms and it's rated at 70 watts. So you can put a fair bit of current through this and uh, not have it burn out. Um, at the opposite end of the scale are these surface mount resistors and bring it up to the camera I don't know how clearly you can see that but just in relation to the size of my hand you can see how tiny these are and this is where the world is going these days in electronics is all surface mount parts which is what these are but the most common resistors you're going to be using are these guys this is a quarter watt uh, carbon film resistor, pretty standard resistor. And they come like this with the two leads, if you haven't seen them before. Um, you can see the color bands on them, that's how the resistance value is designated. And this far band here on the far left is the uh, what they call the tolerance, and in this case it's a 5% resistor. So what it means is that this resistor is guaranteed to be within 5% of the marked value on it. In this case it's got three red bands, which is two, two, multiplied by two, uh, 100 or two zero. So it's two, two, zero, zero, or 2.2K or 2200 ohms. That's how you um, figure out what the value of a resistor is. You look at the color bands and each different color, there's 10 different colors and each color represents a different number. Um, and this one here, 2.2K, two so it means that it's gonna be 2.2K plus or minus 5%. So it, and most likely it's not even going to be as far away from 2.2k as 5%. These are pretty good. And they're cheap. You can buy them, say, 100 at a time for, oh, less than 10 cents each in a package. Um, another bigger resistor, this is also a carbon resistor. Um, it's physically larger, as you can see. And this one is probably a 1 watt resistor. The bigger the body, the more heat it can dissipate. But the resistor that you're going to be using most are these kind because they're easy to interface with. You can bend the leads over, plug them into a circuit board, and uh, do whatever you need to do with them. So what do you need to do, to, or what can you do with a resistor, or why do we have resistors? Um, one, one thing they could be used for is current limiting. Um, in my tutorial on uh, light emitting diodes, I talked about using a resistor in series with the diode to lim limit the amount of current flowing through the diode. Um, I'm going to talk about resistors in this case um, for creating a voltage divider. So if you need to take a higher voltage and bring it down to a lower voltage, for example, um, say you wanted to read a 15 volt voltage and or you know something that went up to 15 volts from 0 to 15 volts but your analog input on your microcontroller uh, could only read up to high, as high as 5 volts you need to divide that voltage down and I'll show you how to use it uh, a couple of resistors to do that so you the voltage you want to change or divide down we'll call it V in and you take two resistors in series one there and one there and in this case we'll reference it to ground the zero volts and we'll use this pin here for the connection between the two and we'll call this V0 or V out this is the our desired voltage and um, I won't do the I'll do the math here but I'm not going to do it with actual numbers I'll give you a formula so we all know what Ohm's law is if you have a a voltage across a resistance the voltage is equal to the uh, current flowing through the resistance times the value of the resistance so I'm going to name these resistors R1 R2 so the voltage across this resistor we'll call it V1 and the voltage across this resistor we'll call it V2 now let's write down a couple of formulas oh yeah um, we've got a current that's flowing through these two resistors from the power, from the input here. And I'm going to call that lowercase i. 
and it flows through both resistors. Now, the voltage here, V1, is equal to V1 is equal to the current I that flows through the resistor times the value of the resistor, R1. V2 here is the same thing. V2 equals I, the same current flowing through it times, um, better write this correctly, that's R2, uh, times R2. Now, in a series circuit like this, and even if we had more than one, uh, two resistors here, in a series circuit of all uh, of resistors like this, um, all the voltage drops across each of the resistors, no matter how many uh, we have, would be equal to the full total voltage across the whole chain. So in this case, Vn is equal to the sum of V1 and V2. So I can write that equation as well. Vn equals V1 plus V2. So how do we figure out this voltage here? Well, I take these equations and do a bit of rearranging. So in this case, VO is equal to the, the voltage across V2. So I'll write that out. V out equals V2. And what does V2 equal? It equals this one here. So I times R2. So I'll uh, rearrange this for I. Uh, let's rearrange this here. Via N is equal to I times R1 plus R2. So I'll get I out and make this equal to V in over R1 plus R2. And taking this equation here, V out equals I times R2. And I'll substitute for I here. So I get V in over R1 plus R2 times R2. And rewriting that, we get V in R2 over R1 plus R2. So the simple calculation, the simple rule of thumb here for determining what V out is over here, is you take the resistance that it's across, R2, and divide it by the sum of the two resistors, and then multiply it by V in, and that gets you the value of V out. So this is a good equation to remember for calculating resistor dividers. Whoops, I'll do this. V out equals V in times R2 over R1 plus R2. This is a good formula to remember. It's good for making quick and easy voltage dividers. So this is a very brief, very uh, quick tutorial, a uh, very simplified tutorial on how to use two resistors to make a voltage divider to reduce a higher voltage down to a lower voltage that you could use. There, uh, another example I'm thinking of right now is for if you're trying to interface to some of these uh, inexpensive sensors you can buy that come on a little circuit board, but, and they tend to run on 3.3 volts. And when you're uh, sending signals to the sensor to um, uh, interface to it, to, to send data back and forth, you don't want to be providing the 5 volts that the microcontroller produces to the sensor. It needs to see 3.3 volts. So you can use a resistor divider like this, tie in the V out pin to the 3.3 uh, device and tying this pin to the microcontroller, which runs at 5 volts and then figuring out what two resistors you want to use here in order to get the 5 volts drop down to 3.3 volts. That's another example of how to use it. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was useful and uh, was fairly straightforward and easy to understand. Thanks for watching.